In these problems, we're being given some zeros, and we're being asked to sort of reconstruct the polynomial that they came from. And there's a couple of tricks in how to do this. They're giving us negative 3 and 4 plus i. The first trick to know is that when you have complex roots, they always come in pairs, and the pairs are conjugates. So if 4 plus i is a root, then so is 4 minus i, which is helpful because we only had two, two zeros here, and we need 3 to make a third degree polynomial. Now that we have them, what we want to do is convert these into factors. So let's start with negative uh, 3. We've got x equals negative 3. To turn that into a factor, I'm going to add 3 to both sides, and I get x plus 3 equals 0. So this x plus 3 is our first factor. If I do the same thing here, I've got x equals 4 plus i and x equals 4 minus i. I would get x minus 4 minus i equals 0 and x minus 4 plus i equals 0. And those two are factors. Well, now we have our factors, our three factors, and all we really have to do is multiply them together which is a little bit of a hassle, but it's not that bad. And I'm going to start with these guys because there's some nice canceling that happens here. So I'm going to multiply x minus 4 minus i times x minus 4 plus i. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take x and multiply it by all three, then take negative 4, multiply it by all three, then take negative i, multiply it by all three, and then I'll kind of try to line them up in columns so that the terms of the same degree are, are lined up. So let's give this a try. So x times x is x squared, x times negative 4 is negative 4x, and x times i is positive xi. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16, and negative 4 times i is minus 4i. So I'm just spreading out the terms so that I can line up the terms together. Now we move on to negative i. Negative i times x is negative xi, and you see those two cancel, which is nice and handy. And then negative xi times negative 4 is a positive 4i, uh -huh, and those two cancel. And then negative i times a positive i is a negative i squared, but remember i squared is negative 1, so this is actually a positive 1. And now when we put this all together, we have x squared minus 8x, plus 17. But we're not done, because we've just multiplied two factors together. We have a third factor, the x plus 3, so that's got to get multiplied in. And let's see, I think I'll move up here. We're going to start with the, um, the x and multiply by all the terms, and then 3 and multiply by all the terms. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 8x is negative 8x squared. x times 17, 17x. Then 3 times x squared 3 times negative 8x, and 3 times 17, I think that's 51. Oh. And now we simply add the like terms here, and we should be done. This is x cubed minus 5x squared, and that is uh, minus 7x plus 51. That is our third degree polynomial that has zeros of negative 3, 4 plus i, and 4 minus i. Alright, let's try one more of those. So here we want to find the third degree polynomial with real coefficients and with zeros negative 4 and 1 minus 2i. So again, if we have negative 4 here, I'm going to skip some of the writing out some of the steps here to save space. Negative 4, that means our, our factor is x plus 4, if negative 4 is the root. And then likewise, 1 minus 2i, that means we're going to have x minus 1 plus 2i, and x minus 1 minus 2i. If you're, if you're not sure where those came from, set each of these things equal to x, and then um, set them equal to 0, and you'll get these factors. Now we're going to start multiplying together. So first, x minus 1 plus 2i times x minus 1 minus 2i. So we'll start here, x multiply by all the terms of the second one. So x times x is x squared, x times negative 1 is negative x, x times minus 2i is minus 2xi. Then negative 1 times everything, negative 1 times x is negative x, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, 
negative 1 times negative 2i is negative 2i. And now on to the 2i. 2i times x is positive 2xi. And those guys cancel. 2i times negative 1. What did I do wrong here? Oh, negative 1 times negative 2i is positive 2i. Aha. Uh -huh. So negative, no, 2i times negative 1 is negative 2i. And those will cancel. The i's terms always cancel out of these uh, problems. And something you should be looking for. And then finally, 2i times a negative 2i is a minus 4i squared. And remember, this i squared is a negative 1, so that's actually a plus 4. So now we have x squared minus 2x, and then a plus 1 and a plus 4, so plus 5. And now we have to multiply our x plus 4 on there. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Then 4 times x squared, 4 times negative 2x, and 4 times 5. And we have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 20. So that is how you find a third degree polynomial from some of its zeros.